today is an uh, outdoor video the weather is just beautiful we have very warm weather these days and um, I'm sitting in my garden look there are some uh, flowers roses And we have a little pond, no fishes, but we do have salamanders. It is a small garden, but um, for me it is really a sanctuary. It's so quiet, we have shadow, we, we have shaded areas, we have sunlight. The salamanders in the, in the pond are really fun to watch. And um, the last couple of days we have had a lot of uh, dragonflies and they were uh, placing their eggs in the pond. So with a little bit of luck there will be a lot of dragonflies in a couple of weeks time. Now I'm going to introduce a new pencil. Karanash Pablo. I received a beautiful gift a couple of weeks ago. A set of 40. 40 Pablo pencils by Karanash. And uh, well why not try them in this beautiful drawing. This color is called night blue and it is a warm toned blue yeah. there was a pigeon this is a great tit come on great tit It is uh, forecasted that uh, today will be a very hot day and in a couple of hours there will be uh, severe thunderstorms so that's the great tit again so I'm enjoying a little bit of coloring before all hell breaks loose. This is Ultramarine by Polychromos. And let's try this one, Pablo. Very special color, bluish pale. I think this color will be one of my favorite colors from the set. Now these um, Pablo pencils are quite opaque and um, that can be very handy. And here is another Pablo pencil, blue indigo, look at that, indigo blue, very dark but warm tone, almost purple.
I have to keep in mind that the light is coming from the right side. So I have to be consistent with that. So I am making some sort of shading here. Now the lamp itself needs some color and I'm not really sure where to go with the color. I will start with this luminance pencil, burnt ochre, 50%. I'm just going to put in a touch of color here and there. Let's put in a touch of yellow, polychromos, cadmium yellow. The dragonflies that are coming to our pond are absolutely beautiful. It started with the blue and green dragonflies, small ones. And then red small dragonflies appeared also. And now we also have the big ones. Beautiful greens and blues. And they look like uh, little helicopters. Very nice. Let's add... This one, Polychromos Brown Ochre. The flowers in our garden, uh, in the pots, are still small. I buy them as very small plants and I like growing them myself. And um, I find it very rewarding to uh, take care of the plants and see how they bloom and to spread their colors. I love bright colors. I already read and heard about artists saying that polychromos pencils and uh, luminance pencils are a perfect match and I think that is certainly the case. So far I feel these luminance pencils are just a wonderful match with the polychromos. And let's try another Pablo pencil. Yellow. I'm not covering everything, just areas where there is not much color yet. So, let's uh, take a step back and see um, how 
how the lamp is doing. I think it is too yellow. I'm going to add a brownish tone, maybe to make it look a little older. This is a very strange color, burnt sienna, burnt sienna 50% by luminance. It has a very strange tone. It is brown and it is, has a bit of red, but there is also, it seems like there is a touch of grey in it. I suddenly realized that I, you know, the light comes from the left and I am placing my hand, I, I should have taken a different position on the table here. I'm going to change, I think, look, I'm darkening my drawing when I put my hand here. Let's change it. So, let's see. Yeah, this goes much better. Much better. So, this is the burnt sienna 50%. And I'm just putting it in randomly. But while doing that, I try to find some sort of balance. I'm always looking for balance in my drawings. Now, I am having a problem with this candle because in my drawing it is daytime. So how much do you see of the shining light of the candle? I think you will see almost nothing. Another luminance, Bismuth Yellow. I've never heard of the word Bismuth. It sounds German. And actually it sounds like a name, but... Let's try another Pablo pencil. This one is called grayish black. Let's see if I can add a touch of shadow with this. That works pretty well. Now I have to be careful because these pencils are very opaque and I don't want to cover the layers that are already there. These Pablo pencils are packed with pigment, so pigment is the stuff that is actually the color that is the most expensive component of pencils, paints, crayons, markers, soft pastels, you name it. 
the pigment, the quality of the pigment and the amount of pigment determines for a great part the price of a pencil, paint, marker, whatever. And these Pablos have a lot of pigment. Yeah, this looks much better. Here is the uh, Pablo grayish black again. I think we need a touch of it here. So that, <laughs> wow. I think these Pablos will do great on the uh, areas that need to be shaded. Let's give it a try over here. This goes very, very easily. 